Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am redoing my review for Cyberpunk 2077 on PC. The gameplay you see here is from my YouTube channel. And honestly, this game did have issues when it first came out. I played it on console. But the issues were minor. They were minor bugs. They honestly made the game hysterical they were easy to fix bugs where everyone else decided that oh well this game is a buggy shitty mess I wanted to complain about it and you know mass downvote the game where I personally enjoyed the game when I played it on on PS4 I play this game again on PC as you can see here may not be the best because I didn't record it in 1080 I didn't realize that there was an option for that back then but now I know um, so I do apologize for you know the bad quality um, at certain times but anyways I recommend this game it is a solid 10 out of 10 the gunplay is wonderful, it is a looter shooter, the story is great, the voice acting is phenomenal, especially for the female character you can play as. The voice actor for that character is a top notch voice actor who has been doing tons of work in anime and I had no idea that she has been doing video games as well, but she has been and honestly good for her. The skill system is great. You can customize your character through skill points, through armors, through you know equipment, guns, all that fun stuff. <coughs> it is a first-person shooter only, which some people don't like. I personally don't care what it is. I think the reason why I'm jumping a lot is to raise up a certain skill. Oh yeah, this gun is stupid. You can shoot through walls and stuff. But, yeah. This was um, recorded before the um, combat changes. The recent combat changes. Yeah, you can shoot through walls. Yeah, that's what this, that's what this gun does. Unfortunately, you cannot silence these guns, so once you shoot, they know you're there. It's unfortunate, and it does take time to charge the gun up, because it has to be, you know, charged up enough to actually go through the wall, or the object that you're trying to shoot through. Which makes sense, but it would have been a lot better if you could silence the gun, but... It is what it is. I don't consider that a con at all. I consider that, you know, part of the game that you're not able to silence all weapons. It is a design choice and I am fine with it. It would have been great if you could, but it was a design choice and I accept that. You do receive phone calls, as you can see here, and it is in your HUD. You don't actually pick up a phone because your phone is implanted into your head because you have cybernetic implants, which, I mean, honestly, that is awesome. If you've never played a game before, I recommend it. Not only can you upgrade your character with armors or better equipment, but you can also upgrade your character with cybernetic enhancements. And they make the gun the game stupidly fun as hell. I was I was honestly on the fence about this game when I first heard about it, but playing it I was sold. I rented this game through GameFly on PS4 and I loved it if you have a console and you're on the fence about playing new games in general I recommend Gamefly it's worth it 
But I read this game and I saw the 10. I recommend it. You will have fun. There's no cons in the game whenever I played it for recording on YouTube at the time. There's no bugs in it anymore when I, when I recorded it for YouTube. There's only pros. It's worth it. It was fun. It was a, a wild ride from all the changes they did at the current time. And honestly, I don't really know what else to say. I really don't. But this has been my re-review of Cyberpunk. And I hope you enjoyed it. And have a wonderful day.